and you and I for a night. First Sunday, I read your last sermon. Said goodbye forevermore, and the army sent some young boys. Fired guns, but we laid it down. Play tax with that baby crying as the sun set to the sun. And on the night that you left us, that new baby cry just a couple of steps behind you. For night, and I for night. Thank you. The first time I played that for my family, half of them were crying, and then the other half was like, "That's not how I remember Grandpa." <laughs> Yeah, so the last time I played that, it was actually really hard. This is the um, first time since then I was in a, uh, a Lutheran church up in Minot, North Dakota. Don't go there. It's beyond the wall. Um, it's very cold. They were all wearing, like, T-shirts, and I'm in everything I own. And uh, we went to this little tiny Lutheran church on the prairie, and uh, my, my grandfather was a Lutheran minister, so it made it, like, extra special to play it, but not any less special to play it here for you guys. All right, so um, those are the nicer songs. Got a love song, got like an ode to my grandpa. Um, so now we're gonna go back to the murder ballads. My mom was so proud. <laughs> um, so this one, this one is kind of like after the thought, like after um, after someone commits murder, like what goes through their head? So I had a couple of ideas of what actually happens because I haven't done it. Um, some people, you know, they're, they're not so sure about the lyrics, but um, yeah, I haven't done it. And um, and then my sister told me they had changed their nightly prayers with the kids and took out the reference to like um, to death. I don't know if you guys say this prayer. It's like uh, now I lay me down to sleep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Anyone know that? Yeah. Okay, so everyone knows it pretty much. Um, so they were like, may angels watch me while I sleep. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's the wrong way, so I took it a step the other way. Now I lay you down to sleep, pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I don't die before I wake. Hangman, my life will take. Far from the path though I have strayed, please, Lord, listen as I pray. Don't blame Mama for my wayward ways. Cheating heart leads a man to rage. Oh, Mama, moon each night she cries. Oh, Mama, one last love of life. All that long ago, the gun was high, my head was low. He was running hard, but he ran too slow. No one escapes the gavels blow. Oh, mama, alone each night she cries. Oh, mama, last love of life.
I'll lay down the rest. Pray the Lord keeps it close to his chest. For I have sinned, but I won't repent. I'm on 44, felt good in my hands. Oh, mama, alone each night she cries. Oh, mama, one last lullaby. Oh, mama, in the bed of night she cries. Oh, mama, hanging me tonight. Now I'll lay you down to rest. I forgot my own prayers. Terrible. Now I'll lay you down to sleep. To drop my feet, my head held high above the plains. Mama's black veil is my only shame. That one's called One Last Lullaby. Um, my mama felt way better after that song. <laughs> That's the last one on the record, and uh, it's unreleased. So if you guys want to hear it, like I said earlier, shoot me a message, and I'll send you the link so you can hear it on the way home. I uh, just want to do a time check. How, how are we doing over there? We good on time? Uh, Siri says uh, she wants to know what else she can help with. but uh, um, Well, Siri thinks it's fine, so I'll do another one. Um, so... This is the oldest song on the record, and um, it's like 15 years old. I was um, studying, I, so I studied engineering in school, which has been really useful in writing music. And, um, and so I was sitting with my buddy and we were talk, chatting during um, finals week, and we had our exam the next day, and he started telling me this story on our way home back to the frat and um, saying how he ended up at the wrong of gun. And it had happened to me a couple times at 18. So uh, we chatted about it and, you know, it ended up well for us. But um, you know, I mentioned it wouldn't always be that way. Um, so I kind of wove our stories into one. It's called Sherman's March. <laughs> Officer, it's not how it seems, not how it seems at all. Says, boy, I know just who you are. This is where you fall. Ice cold steel, I'm at my this, but it's not my time to fall. I fell once long before, forever fought for love. Darling, I never stole your heart. Gave it from the start, but it's all from life support. It's when we fell apart. So I took off like Sherman's march, but the town's late in my way. Hundred miles later, the telephone say that all those many miles before we made a great mistake. As I set out on the road, the heart began to break. Darling, I'm so sorry, I lost you along the way. And ashes laying all around, now I have met your fate. I'm staring down the barrel of a loud man's 45. He says, boy, better keep your hands high if you want to. Stay alive. Officer, it's not how it seems, not how it seems at all. Says, boy, I know. 
ice cold steel around my wrist, and I have no gun to draw. So I took off the running for the cemetery wall. Now the town is coming with the pitchforks and their guns. Take me to the gallows to hang for what I've done. Darling, I never stole your heart. You gave it from the start. Heard us off from life's blood. That's when we fell apart. So I took off like Sherman's march down late in our way. Wipe up the smoke from the end of the gun, and there's nothing you could say. It took me like five years to come up with the name of the song. It's going to be called A Nothing You Could Say. And then I was like, wait, I didn't take history class since I was like in eighth grade. But I was like, I remember this thing. It's kind of perfect. So I, I wove in uh, Sherman's March into it as like kind of a reference. And that became the name. Uh, happy to sing a couple more for you guys. I don't know how we're doing. How are we doing, Jeb? All right, here we go. All right, so um, so that song, I said it was based on a few real things that I kind of mashed together, and I didn't tell my mom until like two years ago that it was based on something real, and that didn't help at all either. Um, so I told her, well, you know, it's not that weird to sing about guns and murder. It's like in all kinds of songs. So um, I learned some other songs by other people, that were also about similar content, but like kind of nice. And uh, so this is a song by the Avid Brothers called Murder in the City. If I get murdered in the city, I'm the revenge in my name. One person died from such as plenty. Need to go get locked away when I leave your arms. Things that I think of, no need to get over a lot. I'm coming home. I wonder which brother is better. Always seem to get in trouble Seem to let the other go Tear falls from my father's eyes Wonder what my dad would say Say I love you and I'm proud of you both Each in separate ways If I get murdered in the city, go read the letter in my desk. Don't worry for all my belongings, but pay attention to the list. Make sure my sister knows I loved her. Make sure my mother knows the same. Always remember there was nothing worth sharing like the love that let us share our name. Always remember there was nothing worth sharing like the love that let us share our name. See, they can be nice too. Uh, my mom loved that one, so so I keep it in my repertoire. All right, um, I'm gonna do one more for you. This is the song that um, got me back into country. I, you guys, some of you grew up at the same time as I did, um, but all of you remember '90s country. It was the heyday of music, not just country. Um, it was the biggest the industry's ever been. Um, 
but that's what I grew up listening to besides, you know, the old classics. Um, but then I got away from it and, and um, the uh, Turnpike Troubadours who just got back together. You guys know them? Yeah, all right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully Drayton gets more applause. Uh, <laughs> But um, so I went on this terrible date. This girl had blown me off a couple times. And finally, there was like a work event at the rodeo. And so I was like, hey, well, why don't you come to this? And I was like, I got in free and I didn't tell her that. Um, so we ditched the work event and went to the rodeo. And uh, the Turnpike Troubadours were playing this little tiny stage um, at the barbecue cook-off. And so I immediately dumped her after the show. But I stuck with the Turnpike Troubadours. Um, and this is called Diamonds or Gasoline. I chose gasoline in that case, I guess. Undercover, blame it on the seasons. Ain't no kind of reason, babe, why I come and go. I had a lover. Felt as good as trees And you can ask her if it's bleak And you can ask when to blow I'd buy for you a diamond Myself some gasoline If I can't afford you, darling Well, then I can't afford to drink Is it time I should be moving? Time I settle down Will I sit still or will I feel the wheels spin around? Well, ain't the brightest bird that ever flew Just someone you knew Road you traveled on of All the colors Shine fade away Just like New Year's Day Here and then they're gone And I'd buy for you a diamond Of myself some gasoline If I can't afford you, darling Well, then I can't afford to dream Is it time I should be moving? Time I settle down Will I sit still or will I feel the wheels spinning round? Thank you all for listening. That's my last song. My my album's called Tall Dark Pines. Uh, if you text me, I'll send you a link so you can listen on your way home. Otherwise, it'll be available everywhere at midnight. Um, or or yeah, oh, I also have merch and CDs and stuff. If you want to pay for music, that's cool too. I don't mind. Um, like mom, I'm making money. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I, my mom would be appalled if she knew. The, how much I talk about living in her basement, but she is proud of me. I, I assure you that I never thought she would be for me living in her basement being a musician, but here we are. Thanks for listening. And if you didn't get the card with my number on it to get the link to the album, come find me after the show. Or yeah, go go buy it at the at the thing over there. Yeah, I'll be there in the red shirt. Not that red shirt, this red shirt. All right. Thank you guys. I'm David Jameson.
Thank you guys so much for showing up on a Wednesday night. Holy shit. What a crowd. Thank you guys. Give it up one more time for our openers. Mr. Drayton Farley is making his uh, long anticipated debut all the way from Alabama and he's never been this far. Y'all gonna love him. Please give him your attention. We're live on YouTube for the first time ever. Holy shit, we're going nuts. Thank you all so much. It's Wednesday night. Love you people. Well, how's everybody doing? So, um, it's fucking cold up here. I mean that. It's very cold. Has anyone ever been to Alabama? A couple folks. Like, mean cold in Alabama is like, I mean, if it's 40, we're fucked. I, I mean that, really. Like, uh, and we're not prepared at all for that that kind of uh, weather. So if it gets like 40, we have like 50 car pileups and like schools fuck closed. And my buddy over in Iowa, he's a school teacher in Iowa, and he told me that uh, school is delayed today because the wind chill is negative 30. That's, that's fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow I'll be in Wisconsin Dells. You know, I think that's the closest to hell that you can get. If anybody wants this after the show, it's 50 bucks. I'm, I'm fucking with you. Do we have a guitar? So I grew up in a town called Woodstock, Alabama. It's 30 miles west of Birmingham, Alabama. It's a nowhere town. Uh, it's, it's directly between Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Birmingham. Uh, we were put on the map a few years ago by this really popular uh, podcast called S-Town, and S stands for shit. So I'm from shit town, Alabama. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm plugged in. I'm not, I'm not sure... Uh, we're, I'm good on this end. Still dead. Yeah, volume's not, uh, it's not changing. It could be a battery. If you want to kill this, I'll swap guitars. I do have to admit, I've played quite a few shows on that uh, that battery. Well, when you play acoustic guitar, you really don't think about electronics a whole lot. How about that? All right, guys, who in here loves their fucking job? Nobody? Hell yeah. I used to not like my job either. A song about it. There's a job I've been working, and it pays me just enough to fuck me up and bring me down like a house of cards. Now I'm off, now I'm hurting. So, honey, could you close the blinds? Hold me tight, keep 
me awoke till the morning comes. It pays a few of the bills, and I take a few of the pills. And I wonder if I'm living, if I'm just alive. guys that song is called blue collar i wrote that uh, i used to work for um i had a, a couple of good jobs that i fucking hated um so when i was 18 i graduated well i think i graduated like 17 but soon after high school i joined a uh, railroad contractor i was a contractor for norfolk southern railroad and i did that until i was 21 years old and that was a cool job. It was cool to, at the time to say, like, yeah, I work for the railroad. You know, people were like, oh, fuck. That's cool as shit. I'm like, yeah, you should get a fucking job here. It's awesome. Yeah. That never happened. And uh, so, yeah, I did that. And then uh, I got married in that time. And um, that was a traveling job. And, and up until that point of my life, I hadn't really traveled too far out of my little town. And, and so it was you know, you know I, I travel around the south, but, you know, to not ever have traveled before and then all of a sudden you're traveling out of state on a weekly basis, you know, it was a big change. And you're, and you're a young man and, and life's coming at you really quick and now you're married and all this shit's going on. And uh, I quit. Fuck it. I quit. And uh, I got a job for Mercedes Benz. I used to work on their assembly line. I built uh, SUVs for those people. And uh, that sounds like a cool job also, but it is also a shitty job and it was not cool at all. So I wrote Blue Collar on the on assembly line building really fucking expensive SUVs one night. So yeah, so that's where that sound came from. No, I like my whiskey and I like my pistol too. But the two of them don't hit Just like me and you We'll go dancing in the dark And I'll take it way too far The way I do In the middle of November in a smoky little bar That's where I met Lucinda We left in my car We made it through the city Her feeling less than pretty with her scars I'm gonna find your man I'll put 
put him in the ground Whatever way I can He'll never get the chance To ever lay a hand on Miss Rosanda Drove the sun back down through the mountains in her eyes to an old dirt road and she pointed out the drive so I let the headlights go moving something slow in the night I parked a few good yards from the house that she called home. He was sleeping in the dark, dreaming all along. I pulled that hammer on my coat, and I wondered what she wrote in the car. Lucinda, I'm gonna find your man, and I'll put him in the ground, whatever way I can, you'll never get the chance to ever Still too, but the two of them don't miss. Just like me and you, we'll go dancing in the dark. And I'll take it way too far the way I do. Thank you. <laughs> Lucinda. That's the only murder murder song I have. And that's also the last song of the night. Thank you guys so much for coming out. So the next song I wrote is um, it's one of the older songs that I have. It's called The Reaper. And this song was inspired kind of by the, the town that I grew up in. It's an old coal mining town. that used to be a booming place. We had a, we had a movie theater on Main Street. Uh, there was a morgue. We had a morgue there on Main Street, too. A fucking cool combination. Um, there was just, you know, it was a town at one point that had a bigger population probably than it does today. And that town, it was, I mean, they mined there. So uh, Birmingham, if you don't know, was a big big city that used to uh, produce a lot of steel and iron. Um, huge producers of that. And they would mine the coal and the coke ovens in West Blockton, Alabama. And they would ship it via rail to Birmingham, where they would use those materials to make iron and steel. And so Main Street, like, burned down a few good times. And that was pretty much the, the end of it all. So... Now, uh, there's not a hell of a whole lot there, and this song was inspired by that place. I grew up in an old coal mine town. People get high and they never come back down. So 
lot of old ghosts that call this place home. There ain't no time to try to right no wrong. Wasn't long till I got my fill for the pills. A little here and there to help with the way I feel. Now I can't slow it down and I don't sleep. Been feeling partial to the company I keep. It turns out they ain't helping me at all. Straight down the pipe, and I feel myself start to fall. What the hell kind of hope? I duck for myself this time I reap what I sow But the reaper knows it ain't me Three days in And sleep's left me for dead There's too many thoughts running through this empty head. And I thought I'd find the road tonight, but there's no light. Now I'm doubting my chances of making it out alive. Turns out they ain't helping me at all. Stay down the pipe and I feel myself start to fall. What the hell kind of hole have I dug for myself this time? Yeah, I reap what I'll sow. The reaper knows it ain't right. I reap what I sow, but the reaper knows it ain't right. Thank you very much. Um, so that song and the, the next two that I'm going to do for you guys tonight were, these will be the, the three songs that I, I wrote, you know, first, like it was, these were the songs that I wrote and then stopped and looked at what I'd done and said, maybe this is what I do. And, uh, that's kind of, these songs started it all for me. I had written things before that, but they were very, very not good at all. Uh, that song and the one I'm going to do next definitely changed probably the, the course of my future. So I always try and throw them in, and especially towards the beginning. Uh, a lot of a lot of times the way I'll do my set list is what you hear, um, what you the way that you'll listen uh, is kind of the way that these songs all came. You know, you'll hear the old ones first and then and then you'll hear kind of the new stuff, and then towards the end, I'll throw some things at you that you've never heard a day in your life, and then towards the end, I'll I'll throw some familiar ones towards you. This one's called I'll Be Home, and it's about a, remember when I told you the railroad gig took me away? This is about that. Watch the sun rise, Alabama. 
Alabama And I bet you couldn't tell From the look I had on my face That night I saw it set in Louisiana Well I was thinking to myself I hate this place That was long before I ever saw Atlanta Before I knew the differences compare Tonight I drove through the Carolinas Tonight I learned Told you it, I'd be wrong. And I know I'm always somewhere else that I don't belong. Baby, I'll be home before too long. Stuck out on the road Baby, I'm stuck out on the rail In another hotel room That I can't help but confuse Well too long If I told you when I'd be wrong You don't know I'm always somewhere else that I don't belong Baby, I'll be home for too long Baby I'll be home for too long Thank you I can't give you all the things you never had And I can't sing away the things that make you sad And I can't be there when you need me to be And I can't fix your eyes Try to help you see While I ain't there This is all for you I don't care if you're scared of the truth Cause I got lost just when I thought that I'd been found 
counted costs don't add up to nothing now. No, the counted costs don't add up to nothing now. can't promise you that you'll be okay and I can't write a song to help you kill the pain and I can't come running back to where I need to be I can't fix your heart turns out to be while I ain't there this is all for you I don't care if you're scared of the truth cause I got lost just when I thought that I'd been found the counted calls don't add up to nothing now. No, the counted calls don't add up to nothing now. I swear the counted calls don't add up to nothing now. All that we had lost. Thank you guys. Uh, I've been to a strip club before. Anybody ever been to a strip club? Yes, no, no, he hasn't. That is definitely your wife beside you. Um, <laughs> now, I went to a strip club one time with my old boss on the railroad, and uh, it went like this. Uh, we were leaving the job site that day, and I was unfortunately depending on him to, to uh, drive us back to the hotel. I had no vehicle of my own, and he was. we were like on the interstate, and he was like, hey, man, we're going to a strip club. And I was like, hey, we're not doing shit. Uh, and he was like, no, we, we are, it's my truck, like my rules. So like we went to the strip club and I had zero fucking interest in this. And, uh, I mean, you know, like throwing money away just ain't my fucking style. So, but he's rich. So, you know, he's, he's genuinely got, you know, wealth. And, uh, so we get there and like, it was like a fucking $20 cover. And at this time, like I'm 18, like $20, fuck that. Like I'm not. And then what? And then I give like, you know, I have what? I'm supposed to have more 20s like to fucking throw away. So, you know, I'm like, no. So uh, he pays my cover. Um, I wasn't even supposed to be there. They did not DM me. He paid the cover and then he handed me like 400 bucks cash. And he was like, have fun. I was like, I'm going to have fun with 400 fucking dollars in my pocket in the corner over here. So I got a $400 bonus that day and this song out of it all. I first met the devil, she was dancing at a club in New Orleans. She was begging with her body for a dollar half collapsed to her knees. Her wicked eyes were hollow, 
her silver tongue glistened when she'd speak. Her words from the language that I'd heard in my anguishing dream. While the men with their money, they were finding it funny, I believe. They could see it in my eyes. All I'd wanted on that night was to leave. He said, I'm in. For the floors, they're all painted and awful shade of sin. How I long for the hour that I'd get to see my lover's face. I swear I'll hold her higher, hold her tighter than I ever once did. Now, Lord, can you save me from this place that I'm in? For the floors, they're all painted and awful shade of sin. How I long for the hour that I get to see my lover's face again. I swear I'll hold her tight, raise her higher than I ever once did. That one's unreleased. It's called Devils and Nola. Yeah, strip club in New Orleans. Great time. Made 400 bucks. Fucking awesome night. Didn't have to strip a thing. I'm not hating on that work. Like, I don't give a shit if that's what you do. It's a, it's actually pretty good business to be in. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, that's good. You know, like, I, like, I, I mean, I was there for like an hour and watched like a woman like pay her fucking college debt off. So, like, you know, I'm like, damn, you're doing much better than I'm doing over here. And I'm like, I'm beaming because I just got 400 bucks for free. All right, uh, I hate to harp on the railroad, but that was a big pivotal moment of my life, so due to that, there are a lot of songs about it, and that's just the way things are. And this one's called 20 on High. It's unreleased. Um, played it for a few crowds. You guys maybe like the sixth or seventh. So 20 on High, and it's kind of about my time going to the railroad and uh, leaving the small town and doing that that shit. Sucked, by the way. Thirty five minutes in a Monday, I'm crossing that old state line. Headed out east on the railway To the mountains of North Carolina It's another damn week on the railroad It's another damn lonesome night One of these days I'ma head home One of 
of these days I'm high Pay a little more respect to the body that I'm in Take a little less off of the edge What did you expect of an adolescent kid Who was all out of allegiance to pledge What did you expect of a runaway train On a busted up mainline rail What did you think he would have to say if he decided there's a story to tell there's 35 reasons for the bottle now i'm 30 fucking counties away i'm slipping off deep to the nothingness couldn't even speak if i had something to say they're all self-critical There's two pounds left of the trigger pull This ain't it, there's gotta be something else I'll get out now before I lose myself And pay a little more respect to the body that I'm in Take a little less off of the head what did you expect of an adolescent kid who was all out of allegiance to pledge? What did you expect of a runaway train on a busted up mainline rail? What did you think he would have to say if he decided there's a story to tell? 35 minutes into Monday Crossing that old state line Headed out east on the railway the Mountains of North Carolina Thank you. So my favorite part of the whole show is when my guitar comes out of tune and I have to bullshit being a comedian for about, you know, 45 seconds or so. Um, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to go right back to the fact that you guys are insane for um, being able to withstand all of this fucking cold. Uh, what's next? Um, I have a new album written. I will start recording it this year. It'll probably release next year, and it will likely be the biggest thing I've ever done. Which is fucking scary, by the way. Um, 20 on High will be on that. I'm sorry. I I am Hargrove. Yeah, it's mine. So I want it. It's mine. Yeah, man. I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to be like. Uh, didn't want to be like a milk cow or anything. You know? <laughs> yeah, I started my own label this year or last year. Yep. Yeah, we're all trying to do shit different now. It's cool when you um. You don't have someone like over you that's like stealing half your fucking money. It's awesome. And your songs and your dignity and your respect. And, yeah, you get to keep all that cool shit. It's awesome. But uh, I mean, but with that, you know, I mean, there's a lot of great things that happen when you sign to a label and that label can afford you opportunities you couldn't afford otherwise. So that's kind of why people do it. And uh, they're not wrong or stupid for doing so, but you know. When you do it the way that I'm doing it, I'm depending on everyone sitting in this room right now to be in this room right now. So thank all of you for being here. I don't think I've said that yet. Uh, also haven't mentioned, um, seriously, thank thank you guys for, for showing up tonight. You paid money to be here and sit in this room and listen to all of our songs. And that's that's cool that, that you you can drive, you know, 10 hours away and have this many people come to a 
the back room in a liquor store and listen to your songs. That's seriously, that blows my fucking mind. Um, seriously, uh, before I do any more, though, I really do. Um, I want to give it up for Kanan and David both, and I want you guys to give them another round of applause. They killed it. It's always cool um, getting to go to a new place that you've never been before and just see how many people are there when you get there and uh, and how many people stick around, you know. So this run that I'm on right now starts tonight. And then tomorrow I'm in Wisconsin Dells. And then after that I'm in a town called Swisher, Iowa. And then I'll be in Fort Smith, Arkansas the next night. And then the next night I'll be in Tul Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I've never played any of these places. So, um so it's it's cool to be able to even come here and make this work, but it's also even more cool to me to for like you know me to show up and then like I'm not just playing to like a bunch of empty church pews. That would suck. That's not what preachers are supposed to do. I'm preaching the gospel of real country music. If you call it country, it's just fucking music. It's not that complicated. The shit you hear on your local country station is pop music, and then what you're hearing tonight is country music. So. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to do a song that I've done maybe twice, like ever. This is the newest song I've written. So if I completely fuck this up and stop halfway and my face gets all red and I like chug the rest of this bush light behind me, you know, you just, uh, you also drink with me or something. Covered everything we own, painted the whole damn place. And the house that we called home, it was a single wide, it was a cornerstone. And we all ate whatever daddy'd grown, but killed to fill our place. But these days I'd kill ten men a week for a minute as a kid on a bitch wish I'd never known stop the clock and take me home time's a bitch wish I'd never known stop the clock and take me home and if there's one thing that I've learned you don't always get the things you've earned some bridges built and the bridges burn then you learn to walk through the flames that nowhere town still bears my name and the bark of a pine down hermitage lane time went on and everything changed time went on and everything changed these days I'd kill ten men a week for a minute as a kid on corner gate. Time's a bitch, wish I'd never known. Stop the clock and take me home. Time's a bitch, wish I'd never known. Stop the clock and take me home.
Oh, the road I grew up on, it was churred rock, dirt, and old dog bones. Red dust covered everything we owned, painted the whole damn place. Thank you guys. That one's a brand new one. It's the newest song I've got. Uh, I think y'all are the, th the third crowd I've played for. Um, it's called Stop the Clock, and it'll be on the next record. True story, every word of it's true. 